guys, what is up? Here is my level 30 <coughs> end game Dead Frontier build. Now, I'm going to start off by going through the skills and effects, then I'll go through like the weapons, the armor, why I've chose what I've chose, and stuff like that. I am a strict, strictly a boss hunter, that is it. I don't enjoy doing it, I don't enjoy the looting or anything like that. I'm straight up boss hunting. So, anyway, we've got. Jog of 5 for obviously 25% jog speed, reloading 5 for walk speed, reload speed, and ammo capacity. Plus 50% reload <laughs> speed and plus 50% ammo capacity is an absolute god tier skill. Marksman for the 50% aim speed and 50% maximum accuracy. The range and the minimum accuracy is just a little bonus, but for me it's all about the aim speed and the maximum accuracy. Because I'm a rifle user, it means I can get shots off nearly instantly. And we've got Rifle Expert 5, because obviously Rifle Headshot Damage, Rifle Body Damage, Rifle Aim Speed, Rifle Attack Speed, and Rifle Maximum Accuracy. And you also get a Minimum Accuracy in there, which again is another small bonus, but I got it for all them other stats. Now we've got Lock Picking 1, this is where pe people are going to be like, wait, what? Alright, I'll explain when I get to... Basically, with the items that I've got, I can get my Lock Picking up to 100. For opening doors in big buildings, so I'm going to go looking for the key. This is was actually a tip from from one of my mods in my Twitch. Um, his name in game is Magic. If you see him, say hello. But yeah, it was him that advised me to get one in lock picking and maybe items. And respect, dude. It's actually a great idea. Then we've got Hunter 5 for the plus 40% damage versus Mutated. Then I've got Medic 2, just for a little bit more health restore. And Toughness 3. Now, I am Prestige 1. That's why I haven't been able to get lock picking. You aren't Prestige, though. I would suggest getting toughness 2, medic 2, and lock picking 1. But because I'm plus 1, it means I can get my toughness to 3. So with the items I've got, I get just over 200 HP with plus 40% health restore when using medical supplies. Right, onto the weapons. Obviously, I have a, my weapons will eventually be upgraded, but I'll be telling you why I have them. I have the rare crowbar. Uh, crowbar? Crowbar. <laughs> With plus 28, the only re like the two reasons for this is the plus 28% damage versus infected, so I can one shot everything except for the fat male zombies. Um, but hopefully I'll be able to be able to do them in the near future. Um, and the 28% luck pick chance. Then we've got the rare Enfield. Now this gun's actually kind of bad. The only reason I'm using this is a 22% weapon headshot damage. I want an M1 Grand, but I've not been lucky enough to find a good one yet. My ideal M1 Grand would be headshot damage, infected damage, um, mutated damage, and lock picking. That would them four stats would be my I did five. Them four stats would be my ideal one. I wouldn't like the head. The mutated damage isn't a must, but the other three are. Again, the lock picking isn't a must, but it's something that I really want on. But the headshot damage and infected that well, infected damage being the main one. Headshot damage obviously helps when you take it. <laughs> so, combat boots plus fifteen percent jog speed, plus fourteen percent sprint speed, Kurt cooldown. Basically, the only reason I've got that is the jog speed plus fifteen percent jog speed. That's why I have them boots. Obviously, I'd like to get some better ones in the future, but we'll see. Uh, the rare cowboy hat now 23% search speed 24% lock pick chance and 27% damage versus mutated minimum accuracy is just a bonus mainly got that for the damage versus mutated and the lock pick chance that's what i've got them for like i said i'm a bosser so i'm all about getting through from doors quick and killing that boss quick rare fingerless gloves 28 27% attack speed great for when using a rifle 31% health restore great for when using your meds 31% knockback distance, it's a bonus. 33% headshot damage. That's what you want, that headshot damage. Um, with this, I kind of like this how it is. I'd like to get some infected damage on it or some luck picking on it. Um, but it's just whenever I find the gloves. Red jeans. 32% inventory capacity and 11% jog speed and 20% health. This is how I've managed to get my health over to 100 with only toughness on level 3. I've got some health on my red jeans. Uh, with so the three items for that I definitely want inventory capacity the jug speed is a huge bonus and the health is another huge bonus but mainly for the inventory capacity and then the t-shirt another great <laughs> item this is an elite shirt level 29 everything on this is good minus 32% radiation chance plus 30% inventory capacity minus 31% infection chance 
plus 32 health, plus 25% energy. The sneak visibility range is kind of useless, but everything else is a bonus. Again, I went, so on my jeans and my shirt, I mainly wanted health and inventory capacity. Um, and then everything else is just a bonus, like the jog speed. On your jeans, you kind of want your jog speed if you're going to be a jogger. <laughs> so health, jog speed, and invent all on one is great. And then the shirt, obviously, that's got a lot of bo uh, bonuses as well. Now, if we have a look onto my stats, I've got 204 health. We have, um, where is it? As you can see, when I find it, my lockpick chance here is 62%. So I'm not going to get through the doors all the time, so I carry... These fingerless gloves on me, and I carry this chest field 21, uh, 21 on me. So I'll equip that, equip that, put my crowbar back on. I need the crowbar on. So I've took off the end field and changed my gloves. Go to my full stats, go back down. Lock pick is now at 107%. So I get through every door every time, easy peasy. That's why I carry the extra two items on me. Put my end field back on, put the gloves back on. Well then, yeah, so. My rifle is currently doing 24.3 headshot damage, that's including the weapon headshot damage, you know, um, headshot damage and rifle headshot damage. That puts this up to 24.3, but then we've got an extra 67% uh, damage versus mutated and another 28% damage versus infected. Like I said, I'd like to get this up to 50 because then I could one shot everything. But at the minute, it's going to have to stay like that until I find a better, health, uh, better item. I've got plus 104% health, 23% search speed, you know, 62% inventory capacity, and 51% jog speed. Now, you only need 25% jog speed for doing the Titan. So. I'm going to be looking into doing the tendril solo. I'm going to figure out how much jog speed you need for that. I think around, like, I'm pretty sure I tried it with around 50 before and she could hit me when I was turning corners, but I might have a strata to do that, so watch out for that video. But yeah, that is my plus 71% health restore when using meds. That's a good one. But anyway, that's my character anyway. There's all the stats. I'll let you have a quick... I'll scroll down this through this really slow, um, starting from here. You can just have a quick glance, but yeah. That's um, my build. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Peace out. I'll catch you in the next one.